I think it's hugely important. I think uh, as, as the industry has evolved uh, for us in microgaming, we started in 2002 with uh, what we call the Hospital Trust, and it was with an intent to give back. That's since evolved into what you now know as microgaming Play It Forward. So our evolution has been for the intent to give back, and now we have an overriding desire to do good. Uh, but I think as the industry grows and the industry expands, uh, we're fortunate that we've been successful. Uh, incumbent upon everyone operating in this industry, not just this industry, but corporates in general, uh, it's really important to do good by our society, the communities we work in. And obviously with respect to the player base and ultimately those who actually who play our games, it's important we look after those players as well. We need to ensure that we do more in respect of responsible gambling the harm that comes, but also the treatment that is needed when harm, unfortunately, is done. So as an overriding social problem, it's something the industry has to take seriously. We actually have a number, but let's, let's, let's focus on one because it's something that it, it was a decision made by our staff. And I always believe that those which are staff led uh, will ultimately have more impact on, on our program uh, because of what it brings to the overall culture of microgaming. So the one I'd refer to is we have a, a daily allowance for staff and they, they can go and buy their lunch. They choose what they buy, uh, but we set them a task and said, right, if you don't spend all of that on a daily basis, what we will do is we will give the difference to charity. So the staff had a choice whether they had that extra bar of chocolate or whether they didn't take it. So there is benefit from a health perspective, but it's also what could we do with that money. The exciting thing is to date we have raised over £90,000 which I'm immensely proud of because it's not driven by me. It's not, there is no diktat coming from the business. The staff have chosen to do this. Now, we are faced with five to 10 uh, charitable requests every single month. And now the staff decide where that money goes. We have a, a play at Ford wall sitting in the office and staff can vote which charity they'd like to support. So not only are they funding it and by not using all of their lunch allowance, but they also choose where the money goes. So I'm really proud of that. I respect a lot of companies in this industry and they do do a lot. Perhaps it's not just well known about. Um, but I think what we can do is talk about it more. You know, when we come to conferences such as this, I've just come off a panel where we're talking about it openly. Now this is the first time, or the first panel I've been, I've been on, where we're talking exclusively about CSR. So talking about it more is certainly a start. Uh, and I think in reality, the industry in smaller areas does actually do a lot. But perhaps we need to look at something on a more consolidated basis, which might get more public attention than those individual companies do at the moment.